Good to see you guys. Congratulations on the film. Oh God, thank, thank you. you. Thank I, you. I feel like Kate doesn't mean it. I feel like you're... You Try don't... again for Kate. We've worked on this. Try your enthusiasm. Congratulations on the film, Kate. Thank you, Josh. Thanks so it's much. Too much. That's more value. Maybe too halfway goes to halfway. It's like a little bit less. Thank you, Josh. No Does, yeah. it, does it actually exist? I mean, did you guys know each other prior to this? At what point do you realize you can stand each other? Give me a sense. Uh, well, we're figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> right now, at this we're very moment? We're learning how to we're... not claw at the eyes. Yes. We've just, we've been doing other types like of this. combat what, what that are you don't... Hitting? What are, what this is, is like the cat. Yeah. We're doing the cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, sometimes it's just there, and you just feel it, and you just love. <laughs> Instantly, and you know, Baruch Hashem, there we were. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> For a romantic partner, what's the most ideal profession? What's the least ideal profession? Obviously, in this film, your, your character is dating a spy. Mm. Not necessarily. Not pro ideal. Probably not ideal. Huh. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, for those out there seeking a romantic partner, what profession should they seek out? What should they avoid? Well, I would say avoid a um, professional criminal. Mm. Probably not something you want to go after. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of heartache. Right. Lots of bail bonds. Everyone loves an architect. I don't know a single person I, I with an architect more. who's like, ugh, and my they have architect. Health insurance, yeah. Which is important. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, probably own a home since that's what they do. Yes. Of some sort. They can literally and they're house you. Well structured. Yeah. Metaphorically and, and, and literally. Yeah, probably. so I'm it's with you. creative I think architecture is great. and it's practical. It's the most noble profession. You gotta go architect. Yeah, it's like just creative enough without being kooky. Yeah. Right. What and what what's kooky? Like to create I mean you... Like an artist, like a sculptor, you've crossed into kook. Right. <laughs> an actor? Actor crossed into kook. <laughs> okay, well then <laughs> clearly kind of, kind of a hypocrite. Just oh, the same. Duh. <laughs> Yes. Do uh, uh, a fair amount of action in this one, to say the least. Yeah. Do the action skills come naturally to each of you? Who does it come more naturally to, would you say? Uh, mm -mm. You, babe. Nope. You got this. <laughs> um, I think what we benefit from is we're not supposed to be good at our action in this movie. Uh, yes. So we smart. did the best that we could, and that's what you're seeing on screen. <laughs> This is the We did our best, and luckily, <laughs> we're not superheroes, so we didn't have to have stunt doubles act like they knew what they were doing. Right. We just had to get the job done yes. somehow. But what you see depicted, at least for me, I don't know, I can't speak for you, are my strongest, most graceful movements. Interesting. That is absolutely the most action-y I can look, and it's supposed to look spastic, and make of that what you will. This film, <laughs> co-written co and directed by uh, a woman, Susanna Fogel, a lady, mm -hmm. uh, starring two ladies lady. here. It's mm -hmm. almost like Hollywood is starting to realize that not every film needs to be... By man for men? This is what I'm saying. Interesting, interesting concept. Do you think that's actually starting to... No, nah. you're crazy. Yeah, well, that's not crazy talk, happen. right? <laughs> no progress? No? We should just give up? No, no. I mean, this is cool. This is cool. This is a good and thing. one day it won't even be a thing. What? It's not we'll just, we'll be what just be what it is. Like, we did this yeah. thing, and we just happen to have one day body parts just be, that don't match your body parts. Right. It'll just be a movie. Yeah. yeah. It's right. just a movie. Right. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's funny. For everyone. Oh, my God, is it funny. Men, women, I children. Love... Maybe, maybe not children, but men, women. Yeah. Yeah. God, I love that movie. Me too. Mature You're children. So funny. Mature children. You're, You're funny. So funny in Who's funnier, would you Kate. say, in the film? Kate. No. Kate, it's actually Kate, don't you argue with me. We talked about this. Actually. Kate, this is MTV. We have to shut a good <laughs> ah! You see, we've been fighting so much. A running theme throughout the film is uh, is lying. Whether like friends can, should lie to each other, the ability to lie. Are you good? Not, I mean, you're a good actor, so you are natural yeah. liars, Correct. supposedly. Um, but in your day-to-day -day life, do you feel like, are, are innocent white lies important, necessary in one's life? On what occasion do you lie? Well, here's what happened. I married my best friend, who's known me since I was uh, 15. It's very, very hard to lie to someone that knows your face better than you do. Right. That's acted against you, so he knows exactly what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. <laughs> so, uh, no, I, I can't, I, it's, it's impossible for either one of us to bullshit one another, because you're like this, bullshit. What's your tell? What's, what's he like? Ask him. Apparently, I have tons. <laughs> like, I clearly suck at my job in real life. Right. <laughs> I do. 
I have no other comment. I clearly suck. <laughs> what about you, Kate? Do you do you find that in day to day outside of the acting? You know, sometimes I try to tell a little fib, and it always spirals into a disaster, and I always get caught with my little fib that then has blown <laughs> up into a hurricane of deceit, and I um, so I try not to. Yeah, I'm also a terrible liar. Really bit. So, you know so, how tell me, tell she's me actually, the why. No, I like to why, why does some lie about the fact? She's me. really bad. Um, I, I, um, I don't, don't judge her acting love, by this. I love, um, I love Vegas. <laughs> yeah, no, don't buy it. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Okay, let's talk about um, uh, some great male co-stars in this. Justin Theroux, Sam Hewen, big fan of Mr. Sam Hewen. Yep. Woof. Sam and Kate may have had a love affair. I'm Ooh, just throwing woof. it out there. <laughs> It may have happened. I'm kind of shocked, though. This guy likes to basically always appear shirtless in his day, day job on Outlander. Uh -huh. He runs a lot. A lot. He runs Check a lot. Check out the Instagram. He, uh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. Right? When we lived in Budapest, which is where we shot it, we would be driving down the bridge, and I'm not kidding you, nine out of ten times, I would see Sam shirtless <laughs> running down the bridge, and Ash and I both would be like, God damn it. Like, in our car, like, mm, like all angry that this man is in such good shape. I know. All the time he was running down the bridge, and shirtless. Yet, and yet, I don't think he's shirtless in the film. I feel like this is a missed opportunity. No, we, we don't. Oh, Objectify? You're little, not into that? There was a little peek a deek <laughs> peek a -beak. Is that a peek -boop. business term? Is that a Hollywood term? A little peek a deek Okay. What was he doing? He did, he, you know, he, oh, um, with the shirt. He, yeah, 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 yeah. He buttons his shirt. Just a little bit. But we don't see Is abs. that a spoiler? No, you don't see anything. <laughs> no, you don't see we anything. don't objectify him. It's the mere men. suggestion. Right. No, there's no objectification in this movie, thank you so much, mm -hmm. of men or women. Well, <laughs> well, well. A little bit doesn't kill anybody. Yeah, we yeah. objectify a little bit. Last quick thing. Kate, are you going to be working with Danny Boyle on this crazy musical that may involve the Beatles? That sounds kind of intriguing to me. Ostensibly, yes. That's Am I allowed to say? Ostensibly. Yeah. <laughs> Ostensibly. That would be a cool thing to do. Yeah. Not yeah, bad. that would be great. Singing in it, singing for Danny Boyle, no less? We'll see. Okay. I mean, we'll just, we will literally just have to see. Literally? Yeah. We'll Kate you have has an amazing voice, like, you know this? <laughs> no, I don't! You no, know, Kate has a genuinely good voice, guys. <laughs> little known fact, this little stinker can actually sing. No, I don't. Really well. There's evidence on SNL. Do you want a uh -huh. little song? Josh mm -hmm. MTV, I'm doing an interview. <laughs> so I guess she's right. Yeah, the, <laughs> Grammy, the Grammy goes Kate. too, Kate. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Always good Thank to see you, you. both.